Hi, buddy. It's Jeff Allen. It's going to be uh, one short video about um, the whole marketing aspect of marketing and sales of Americans. And I'm giving an anecdote, a very specific anecdote of this. Uh, I, I want you to go to the uh, to the presentation to the to the to the speech that Donald Trump gave on August 11th in 2016 in Orlando, Florida, to a bunch of religious leaders and uh, pastors, ministers, and actually there were other, other, other religious orientations there. And I watched that and did a linguistic analysis of it because um, I actually did a degree in text analysis of religious literature for one of my degrees. So that was one of, actually one of my degrees. And, um, and it was really uh, that, 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 you know, I wasn't really, in, I'm not a Trump supporter, um, but, but he's always fascinated me in how he is able to um, get people to believe in what he's presenting. So that, and over the years, that's actually why I would stop doing this, this video series or this book because of, I thought I wouldn't have to do it when he came on the scene, um, which now means I've come to do the book or this video series because I think we really need it. If you watch that, uh, the whole thing, there's a, there's a whole history of him and, and, him having supposedly become a born again Christian in 2015 or 16, James Dobson did a, a blog on this uh, on his website of uh, family. I think it's called Family Talks. James Dobson used to have focus on the family for like 30 years, and then and then he started getting involved more in political politics and stuff, and and uh, you know in, in in being involved with that, and that kind of became problematic because of like all of the the nonprofit associations aren't allowed to do this to have political bias and so that became a problem so he started another company or another association where he could actually have political be involved in, in political um, campaigns and stuff and all that and so James Dobson made a, a present he made a statement sometime in summer I think it was in June 2016 about I think it was Paula White so, so claimed that Paula White had you know been involved in the in the Christian conversion of uh, Donald Trump and stuff, but, but we didn't see any evidence of it afterwards, right? Um, some of the statements coming out of Donald Trump was just like, uh, that happened. Um, and that actually changed that website, uh, the Family Talks uh, website, the, the page changed, the content page on that changed within like a week of that appearing, because um, a lot of people are complaining about it. But then in August, August 11th, Donald Trump gave this talk and uh, in 2016 in Florida, Orlando, and that was an amazing talk because Trump wasn't Trump. Um, he just wasn't his normal who he is. It was actually very reserved um, and he built it up, uh, just just built up the whole story. I did a great storytelling. It was incredible. Um, and he was able to bring all these different religions together that are actually all competing religions all together under the same umbrella and tell them, I'll talk to them and get them all motivated in the same way. He's a great salesperson. I mean, it's just incredible. And uh, and there's actually a transcript I looked up, but I found that you can go up and look at YouTube now and look at, or on YouTube and the internet and see that there's a transcript, the fact checking about everything he's stating in there. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for just the transcript and it's there. Um, but I actually did an analysis of everything he said and just, he, he used, I, all I want to say is he used the word, he, he did not use the word Jesus, which you would expect of some kind of, you know, uh, recent convert uh, to Christianity to talk about, right? Never used the word Jesus. In fact, I don't think he ever did in any of the things he said in anywhere. But he did talk about God and he talked about religious, 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 he said that a lot. So he was able to use the vocabulary, the basic vocabulary of everybody to get everybody in the room that's all from different religions, different subdivisions of religions. They're all kind of fighting their own on their own territories and stuff, which is another whole topic. But, um, but he was able to actually get them all going under the, the kind of the, under the, the, the topic of the 501c um, IRS, uh, financial, uh, whether you could be, have a political bias or not and be able to, 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 to you get tax deductions uh, on, well, to offer tax reductions and have, have you be not pay taxes on the, that nonprofit 
association for churches or whatever you want to get these, these religious organizations. Now it's been a whole problem for like the past 30 years. I think it was under the Johnson Act or something, if I recall. So there's a whole thing about that. And he just used that to actually get them all motivated to vote for him. He was on everybody to vote for him. He got everybody to vote for him through using these these techniques, these sales techniques. But then you do a fact checking afterwards, you find out. And I was doing my own fact checking with the language analysis. And he there's now the fact checker thing that actually goes through each statement that he made in that that talk. Um, but I would suggest you go watch that video and see how um, Americans can really be, again, they can believe things that just sound good. It just sounds good. Good sound bites, good sound bites. But underneath it's kind of, well, it's kind of very basic. And his stuff was so vague, it was so vague. I mean, I saw this was because I got a degree uh, and, 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 and this types of topics. And, and like, no, nah, it just was, but he used it so well and he got everybody on board. Um, and that's why, um, uh, marketing sales, uh, Americans are good at marketing sales, and, and, and Trump was a good example, and we can see that over the, the four years that he was, that his campaign plus the four years was amazing, um, that he's able to do that because he thought, and that comes down to the whole thing is he was actually being honest, he's being transparent, he's being, like I said in the other chapter of this book, or this series here, about being open, transparent, he's not being a regular politician, he's being a guy in the street that's just talking, and, and he was able to build a whole following of this. Uh, on the same thing. So this all kind of interacts, but this fits goes, it fits under the mark in sales, this fits under the whole religion topic, so it can be found in different places. Stuff out. So like I'm digging, I had a little thing of LinkedIn popping up, but don't worry about that. Um, I can't turn it off while I'm doing this. Uh, and all I say is um, go ahead and go ahead and look at that. Go ahead and, 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 and watch that and see how it's totally different. He had a whole different sales approach. Um, to that public, to that audience. He's just really good at this. Uh, and I've always said he's he's really good at sales. I have always thought that he was a really, really, really good salesperson. That proved it when I saw that. That's why I stopped doing this video series, this, this book, you know, Understanding America, because I thought I didn't have to say anything anymore. And you know what? Like I said, I'm back to doing it now, six years later. So after he's, after he's uh, you know, well, a few years after he moved on, but six years after that, 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 that took place. So, um, so I just say, uh, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and um, analyze it. Go ahead and see how it just makes sense that Americans were, we're an unusual beast because we're able to convince and persuade with amazing ways with very, ba just some basic vocabulary and stuff and don't have to have anything to die. But then there are other cultures that are not that way. They want to have some proof. They want to have some real proof and they won't believe until they do that. So that's interesting what I see in my other books about working the Germans, working the French. It doesn't always work. So. Um, so hope that helps and hope this uh, chapter gives you, or this topic gives you another thing, a little bit deeper, a uh, little bit digging deeper into this kind of thing. You know, I'm not pro-Trump, but you know, he was, it's, it's, he's a really good salesperson. That's what it comes down to. Marketing sales, he's really good at it. So, and very convincing, very persuasive, um, which is marketing good sales. So, so hope that helps. Thanks.